Hey, this is Nina Nevsky, and I want to show you how to play this song, Waymaker by Sinatra. It's just such a beautiful song, and I'm going to go through the entire song, and then I'm going to go through the individual parts. So here we go.
you can keep on playing if you feel like it. That's the entire song that I did. Um, that part, I noticed that not everyone does it, but it is in the original song. The you wipe away all tears, you mend the broken heart. So you don't have to include that, but you can. Um, all right, so going through each individual part of the song. So the introduction. What you play in the introduction could just be octaves of these chords. So you have an E, you have a B. Whoops. Um, I tend to play the one and five. So for example, one and five of E, one and five of B, and maybe the one again. So this is, I call this the flowy style and you can do really fast flowy style if you want to have a lesson on it um, on my website. If that's something that you want to learn, kind of like to help your left hand flow more in any song. So that's what I'm doing, the style. So you have your E, B, F sharp, and G sharp minor. Then with your right hand, you're going to be playing these notes. So that's D sharp, F sharp, G sharp. G sharp, F sharp, but D sharp. <laughs> so again. And you have F sharp, C sharp, D sharp, B. Going a little slow for you. So this is just a framework, and if you want to be a little flexible and kind of make it differently, like, and you can make it simple, like, um, oops, you can make it your own. This is just kind of like a framework. I know some of you want to keep it less, like. You can make it simple like that. You are here. If you want it, you can make it simpler so you can work with it, but that's how kind of the original is. It's a lot more like. Da, 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 da. Anyway, but you can play around with it and make it the way you want. Um, anyway, going to the verse, the chords are E. And a lot of times I play the inverted E because I absolutely love inverted chords. I actually, they totally changed my piano playing life. Um, and I heard a lot from a lot of you guys that it changed your piano playing life as well. Um, I actually have a lesson on inverted chords. It's on my website. Um, so the regular E, you could just play the regular key. So, And then B, that's the second chord. Same as the introduction, F sharp, and then a G sharp minor. And the way you play that is you just kind of play it with a little bit of that flowy style and it depends how empty you want it. You could literally just play You are here Moving in our midst I worship you You can make it super simple or you can add a little bit more like You are here Moving in our midst I worship you so essentially what I'm playing here is the flowy style. What I'm doing is I'm playing the flowy style with my left hand and I'm continuing it with my right hand. You are here. This is the, also an inverted E. louder you can press with your right hand like twice here notice my right hand worship one two to kind of um build up so that is the first verse for you and then um you kind of want to build up at the end i worship you keeper to kind of have that like build up and then like whew, that fall of like emptiness it's so beautiful so you kind of want to build up worship you we make a miracle worker 
So the way I built up is I just kind of went one, five, one, five. So you we make your miracle worker. So that's kind of like the build up. Anyway, now moving into the chorus, you have the same exact chords. I love this song so much because of that. So it's really simple. In the chorus, um, you're pro you're playing super simple if you're doing that low vocal, like we make your miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are really simple just octave with left hand triad with uh, right hand way maker miracle worker so that's the first chorus the second chorus on the other hand you're gonna be the vocals are louder you're gonna be playing louder so I'm Notice what I'm doing with my right uh, left hand. I'm doing a lot of bass. If you don't feel comfortable doing the flowy style, just do the bass. Or the one and five. Um, so you notice that I was super loud playing on those bass and the bass is what's going to give you the biggest buildup ever. And so that's what you want to do with your right hand. You're going to be also pressing on the triad like probably four times. So two. super loud it's so beautiful um and then um you go into the verse two which is similar and then you go into you wipe away all tears you're basically playing the same exact whew, same exact thing as the chorus answer to it all You're playing the same exact thing um, as the chorus, and then you have an outro, and you're playing that super calmly. So, you are here, touching every life. Just pressing once with left and right hand and holding it. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. And you kind of end it like that, and you can do a little instrumental afterwards. So that's the entire song, guys. And um, if you don't know me, I'm Nina Nevsky, and I uh, have an online program where I teach people how to lead others into worship and how to spend time alone with God and what to play on piano during all those situations that we get put into as musicians especially keyboardists we're kind of expected to do the transitions and the introductions and endings a lot of times and playing during sermons and all those times you need to play different things each of those situations so that's exactly what i teach in my online program so if you are serious about this transformation um, of just leading people into worship, then this is for you. Go to pianoministrycourse.com. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.